guys, DJ Mage is back here, and I know that it has been forever since I have done a video, and I am, you escaped me right now, and I am sorry for that. Um, but, yes, I, uh, you notice that I don't have Minecraft today. Uh, it is related to Minecraft, but it is a tutorial for Minecraft on how to create a bucket, a regular Minecraft server, a bucket server, and a snapshot server. So, uh, first of all, we're going to start out with the regular server. So, create a new server and uh, name it uh, whatever you want. I named it server. You can name it kick-ass server that I love that is badass or whatever. Uh, but anyway, you're going to need to download this right here from uh, Minecraft.net. All the links will be down in the description below, and uh, including a video on how to... Uh, um, on how to... Uh, uh, port forward. I'm not going to do this because I uh, don't know how to blur up the IP and all that uh, and I don't want you guys hacking me uh, because there's some people out you uh, out there I don't, not all of you guys, but some people don't like me a whole lot and want to hack me. So yes, uh, if they find out my IP. So yes, uh, you would go to uh, that uh, and props to the creator of the video that I'm putting in the description below though. Um, so uh, do that and then double click it. And uh, you can uncheck that. That just makes it so that it runs automatically and you don't have to press run every time. And so it opens this and creates these files here. Uh, so this, the window that popped up here, that has to be open for the server to be on. And never, and if you're going to close this, never ever press the X button here. Always type in stop. And press enter. And that'll close it. Pressing the X button will, uh, has the chance of messing up your server. Uh, so, server properties and stuff, you can mess around with that. For uh, But don't uh, mess around with server IP. Uh, that can stay there too. Uh, the server port is what you put at the end. Um, you, if it's 25565, you don't have to put anything at the end with a colon, but if you, like, change it to 25566, then you would, uh, for example, it would be, uh, like, say your IP is, like, 333.444.5465, and then you would put colon 25566 at the end. But, uh, if you have it 25565, uh, you don't have to put 25565 after that. You can just leave it the same and it'll still connect. Um, so, uh, an MOTD, uh, that just sets what it says in the beginning. So say, uh, hello and welcome to my kick-ass server. Oh. and file save and exit out of that and then you can also mess with whitelisting which makes us that only certain people can join and you have to opt yourself with ops.json or you can do uh, slash op uh, your username so in the console so op my pal here and now if we open up minecraft press run and um, wait for it to load and press play and then uh, so if you're hosting the server on your computer you can put in local host for the IP uh, here but if you want other people to join you have to search up your public IP by uh, by uh, searching uh, for what is my IP on Google and it will tell you your public IP address and uh, you also have to port forward again the video for port forwarding will be down in the description below uh, and you'll need that for to run any server of any kind uh, so now press so now that you have uh, there press done um, for some reason I'm not oh because I don't have this, I do have it open. That's weird. Uh, 
um, for some reason it's not wanting to load, but just trust me that it does work. <laughs> My computer's just being stupid at the moment. So now you can press stop, and uh, that's how you do that. So now for bucket server. server. Uh, so to get all these, you will have to go to uh, bucket.org and go to get craft bucket, or uh, down or download it here on the uh, regular thing uh, on the for the beta, which is here. Download craft bucket 1.7.9 dash ro dash r0.2 here, and they will download uh, what the latest version, uh, which is 1.7.9. The one from Get Craft Bucket that is 1.6.4 because that's the stablest version, but it'll still but 1.7.9 is pretty uh, good also. So now in Bucket Server you can again name it whatever you want, Kickass Bucket Server or Badass Bucket Server or Yeah I got a Bucket Server, uh, whatever suits you. Uh, so here you need to uh, so uh, I was using. I was, this was from a failed uh, tutorial of it. Uh, so now you want to go, so now first you want to rename craftbucket.1.7.9-ro-r0.2 here and rename it to craftbucket.jar. And now new text document. So this is different from uh, the regular server. Uh, you have to use a batch file for it and batch code. And it's pretty simple. You can get this off the website and it will also be in the description below. Uh, the code will be in the description below. And so you do can, uh, so I'll paste it here and you'll see uh, here. Uh, and this right here sets the RAM. So uh, 1024 is one uh, gigabyte of RAM. So you can set that to whatever you want. So like, uh, and also you can do like uh, 4G, but uh, it's going to be at default 1024 megabytes, which is one gigabyte. So that's going to uh, be the best for your, uh, if you have a computer like mine, that's going to be the your best bet so that it won't uh, crash. Uh, and it will still run pretty smoothly uh, depending on your computer. Uh, for me, it'll run pretty smoothly. Um, uh, so now you go to File, Save As, and here where it says Text Documents.txt, change that to All Files, uh, where it has All Files asterisk dot asterisk, and so uh, rename this to Run dot Bat. So the dot Bat at the end makes it so that's a batch file, a Windows batch file. So I don't know how you're supposed to do this on a uh, Mac. Uh, uh, there are there are instructions on the bucket page, uh, but I'm not gonna do Mac. This is based pretty much for only Windows and Linux only. Um, I'm so Linux and Windows. This is basically along the same lines. So uh, uh, you can name it. So the what's before the dot bat? Uh, it can be anything. It can be like. Uh, launch kickass server dot bat um, but we're gonna keep it as run dot bat and press save and so now you can exit out of this and delete the new text document dot txt yes and now run dot bat so now you see it's saying loading library so that means it's loading all the files just like it does in the regular server so uh, it'll load all the servers here all the files here Allow access. And here it's loading the spawn area and stuff. Uh, so here in plugins, that's where you add your plugins and stuff that you want uh, and all that. Um, so, uh, like, uh, if you've ever heard of, like, uh, popular ser most popular servers uh, use uh, Bucket so that it's... Uh, uh, mini games so that they have like mini games and stuff or factions and all that uh, you need bucket to run those uh, so y yeah and now if we launch minecraft uh, and go to local host uh, it should work for this my computer is just stupid with a regular server because it won't load 
worked very well, uh, but on your computer it should. Uh, uh, but you can also use your run.bat uh, to put more RAM into uh, your regular Minecraft server also. Uh, so here you see it has a Minecraft server here, that's uh, what I have right here on the host. And here you'll see it, my pal has locked in with entity ID 2533, blah, 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 and all that stuff. And for some reason, my FOB is on quick for now. Yeah, there we go. Done. Game. And you'll see here uh, that I'm pretty laggy, but that's just because I'm on my computer. And my computer isn't very good with Minecraft. <laughs> and recording. Uh, but you'll see that it's working here. Uh, right now it's only a single player world, uh, but you can also have other people join if you uh, port forward. Again, the, vi the video for port forwarding will be down in the description below. But now I can uh, disconnect from Minecraft and uh, now same st thing, d never exit out of it, just press stop, press enter, and it'll stop everything, and then it'll say press any key to continue, so you can press any key. So you can go zero or enter. I usually just press enter because yeah, uh, and it'll stop the server. Again, you have to have that run dot that open every time to do that. And um, uh, there are a few other things on here, and that's just stuff that you can ignore, um, uh, except for uh, plugins, which you will. Uh, not ignore, and you can edit your uh, configs and everything in there also. Um, so now I will show you how to create the snapshot server. So create a new folder and name it whatever you want. Um, so I'm going to go with snapshot server and double click that, and now you'll see here, uh, uh, and now you'll see that I have this open. And now what you need to do is uh, you don't go to bucket.org or minecraft.net. You need to go to mojang.com. These are the makers of Minecraft, uh, the company that made Minecraft. Um, and you'll see here you have Snapshot 14W25B. That is the latest snapshot for 1.8, which is the current next, uh, which is the which is the next uh, Minecraft update. So you'll see here cross-platform server jar. You need to download that. And it, the reason why it says may harm computers is because it's .jar and Google Chrome doesn't recognize .jars. <laughs> uh, but they're safe. Uh, so now that you uh, are now that's loading this, now you just drag that onto uh, here, into here, and you can just double click it, just like a regular server. And it'll load everything, and unlike the regular server, it actually shows the text on my computer. My computer is just all sorts of weird. Don't touch me. <laughs> Um, but once it says done here, you can go to Minecraft, and I recommend that you create a uh, new um, file, uh, new uh, accounts thing here uh, for this, like, not a new, my, you'll see what I mean. So you go to new profile, and uh, rename it. Uh, to whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to name it to Snapshot and press Save Profile uh, and then. Uh, Do you, no. Do you want to spend the night with your brother? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. If you want to spend the night with you, and I'll let you spend the night and watch a movie, but you'll need to start at a date. Right. Which is in just a couple of minutes. Right. Say hi to the fans. My mom does not approve. <laughs> so now um, uh, you need to go to here and go to allow use of old beta mine. Uh, uh, you don't have to do that, but uh, enable experimental developments uh, snapshots. So press yes, 
and uh, go to his uh, latest snapshot, which is uh, use latest version, save profile, and press play. And it'll start loading this. And it'll load Minecraft and uh, go to multiplayer. enter it. Now you'll see it's logging in. It's normal. And again you'll have to port forward uh, so that other people can join it. Uh, but as you see here we've loaded and to prove to you that it is a um, uh, that it is a snapshot I can go off my pal off Maya, how? There you go. And uh, now I'll go to game mode one, and I can get a button, and I can now press it on the ground. See, in one point seven, and the versions before that, you cannot place buttons on the ground. So, yes. So, I hope this uh, helped you out. Uh, and if it did, please uh, uh, leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the description below uh, what you thought of it, whether you liked it, whether you didn't. Please, no too hurtful comments. And I would love criticism uh, um, on, wh on whether you like this or whether uh, I shouldn't do tutorials on what how I did on the tutorial and also leave a suggestion on on if you want uh, any uh, uh, and also leave a comment below saying if you want uh, more of this or if you don't and also uh, if what and also leave suggestions for what uh, tutorials I should do in the future and if I can do them I will do them so yes uh, I thank you for watching and this is Digit Animation signing out, so I will see you later, my animators. Bye-bye.